Here we are on a fire or a spell blade. Now we're level 76, but the kind of build that we wanted to do was a surge fire aura build. Now, if you're unfamiliar with fire aura, here's what it is. This mechanic right here, it's actually a fire spell damage over time area spell that scales off of intelligence. And I'm actually converting it to lightning through this node right here in the flame ward skill tree. And that's why it looks like this, where it's a lightning aura instead of a fire aura. There's also a cold and a fire aura as the baseline. As you can see here, we have an 80% chance per second while moving or using a melee attack to cast a fire aura. And we can see that here, we have a high chance of actually casting a fire aura and we can see the stacks rising up in the bottom left over here. Now there are a lot of synergies with fire aura, but basically what we're doing is scaling up surge. Now surge, we can cast fire auras from these stacks that we can stack up while surge is on cooldown. So we attack with melee attacks and then we get stacks and then you cast surge and then you get fire ores based on how many stacks you have. What we also do is cast a lightning blast on arrival and that's this skill right here. So when we arrive with surge, you can see the lightning arcing out from the sides. That's actually lightning blast. Now we move in a zigzag motion because of this node right here and and this makes spell lightning damage from surge deal 30 percent more damage so that's why we're using it we're also casting more lightning blast while we're traveling it does a lot it casts fire or it casts lightning blast and the fire ore is converted to lightning so this does 30 percent more spell damage for the fire ore specifically created from this node on the surge tree what we also do is over here we use static on arrival and that's this skill and this is a whole nother thing. It would take a long time to uh, explain and everything. However, we're casting lightning spells a ton of the time just by using Surge, which is a traversal skill that makes you move forward like that. And it looks awesome. So let's hop into a monolith and check it out. <clears throat> so here, you can see the play style. As you start to get more and more fire aura stacks, things start to die very quickly. And you can see here, just by walking, we can essentially have up around five stacks on our own, just by walking and kind of auto attacking it once in a, uh, like once in a while. But what we really want to do is be casting Surge every once in a while while we're using Mana Strike as our melee skill. And you'll be wondering like, oh, it's not a melee skill we're attacking at range. And that's because it has a node that lets you attack at range, but doesn't get rid of the melee tag on it. And that's the main reason why we're able to use it to great effect, because there's also more synergies that have to do with attacking with melee skills in the Spellblade tree, because Spellblade has amazing uh, scaling options, especially in the late game. And if you're wondering why we're not taking any damage, there's like five different defensive layers that Spellblade has access to. It's pretty disgusting. So we come here and you can see the amount of damage that gets done to enemies just by us like teleporting to, or just by us surging to them area. So you can see when we arrive, here we can check this out. When we arrive, things just kind of die because we're casting so many different lightning spells and have scaled up all the lightning spells a lot. You can see there, it's it, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. It's just a lot. And it's super cool, but I just thought I'd show off the base concept and mechanics to the build so that maybe you'll be inspired and make another version of yourself. So thanks for watching. Have fun out there.